that are trying to break here. You know, they don't <laughs> end up in fourth place all the time. Oh no, we get reverse sweeped all the time in the playoffs. They need they want to make their stand right now. Set yep. the record straight. All right though. So Vladimir and Azir, not really big surprises there coming from Cloud9. Will the last one also be a Phoenix ban? The Urgot? Mm. You know, Gorky. They just had a band to use. Ah, so they're attacking high once again. Let's see. Lissandra's still up for him. He Nobody has wanted to go towards the Zed, but with Urgot banned out. Lucian. Lucian is the pick Team Liquid needs to make right here. I was oh, actually that's... thinking <laughs> Cloud9 may want to pick an early Lucian just because of how dominant Sneaky has been on it and how Picklet has looked largely ineffective on his other AD carries that aren't Lucian. Sivir was okay for the move speed, but a totally different team comp. Right. Very high value Lucian pick right there. Just having to sacrifice the Hecarim and also attacking High's champ pool there. So you really go with picks two and three here on cloud nine side. This will show a little bit. AD carry is already picked as well as jungler, so it's not something they have to prioritize. But they also don't want to show too much as well with these. Could get the support. Obviously, Lemon Nation's been going for that Nautilus. We finally just saw a Braum after he spammed Nautilus basically the past two weeks. And into playoffs. Definitely taking their time all the way down to that last bit. Something we know Cloud9 to have a tendency to do to really almost put more pressure on the team they're playing against. Yeah, double lock-in to come. Giving as little time as possible to react. Boom. Lissandra it is. And no Azir against yep. it this time. I'm I'm wondering here what Phoenix wants to pull out as his counter pick because I can still see the rest of Team Liquid's team comp fairly easily just boiling down to John Alulu still, just to allow more protection for Yeah, Piglet. definitely. And a lot of it will be about what Phoenix decides to pick into this Lissandra. He has yep. played so many different champions, but three bands targeted directly at him. Lissandra taken away from him. They might just wait until they can see the entire team comp in front of them, since I think the Janna and Lulu would be fairly telegraphed. Yeah. Keep the oh, Lulu whoa, flexible. Whoa. Would they do Lulu mid against Lissandra? I haven't seen too many North American mid players, but Shao Wei Shao really have success on that Lulu mid lane. Other regions have, but... Yeah, haven't really gotten it from too many other champions, or rather players. Phoenix will lock that in. They have the Maokai as well for top lane, so that possibly the Lulu or in the end. So Could that be special? This, this, is, <laughs> this has been ridiculously popular in Asia, the support cannon. And, and banned every game. Yeah, and it's been banned every game. You know, some people are like, yeah, probably top lane ban. It's very, very easily could be a support mm -hmm. ban that's been let through this time around. And if they do decide to actually take the reverse matchup of last game and go Kalista. The Ken and Kalista combo is a favorite. Mm. But no. Oh, playing with my heart. Not meant to be this time around. Instead, you get the Sivir plus the Hecarim, which is also a very, very good combination. Looks like Team Liquid might be going with some really heavy initiation. I'm very skeptical of the Maokai pick for Team Liquid. They played it once the entire year and lost with it. Yeah. And it's also a champion that Quas hasn't really played. Also, he plays everything except the Maokai for the well, most part. Yeah, also it reduces the amount of threats that Team Liquid are really fielding here. Yep. This again reduces them down to, yes, we do have magic damage scattered about, but Piglet. Piglet. This is once Put again going to be all on Piglet. Game five, give it to Piglet. Can he make the three-pointer? You got to say this is where we have seen him thrive and in past uh, series of his history, historical play rather. So it could be a position that he loves to be in. Phoenix, you can see. Little antsy, wants to get into game. He is going to be on Lulu this time, switching up his champions back and forth as high goes back to that Lissandra. The analyst has said the mid lane is going to be a really big factor in this one. And if they match up again in those dual lanes, as we've been seeing. It could just be the mid lane that is the factor. The other thing here is that Cloud9, is this is an extremely mobile composition. Cloud9 can pull off picks all over the map. Mm -hmm. Not only do they have Sivir for chasing down entire teams, mm -hmm. but also Gragas and Hecarim uh, can create their own picks. 
And again, the deep wards, very important for Cloud9. We always mention it with balls coming in with very timely flank teleports. This time around, maybe he builds home guard, maybe he doesn't. I guess we'll stop hyping that up because it wasn't really a big factor in the game that they actually won. That kid in the yellow shirt certainly stands out. Yes, he does. He knows what he's you doing. You know what to wear in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my fame. My, my five minutes on camera. And hey, guys, final hug. The final hug. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Really though, that's, I'm, Rip, that's not the final. I'm thing. really concerned. <laughs> I'm really concerned for Team Liquid here, because of all the catch potential that Cloud9 has overall, and because of the limited number of threats they're running. It's again a one-threat team composition with Piglet, and not even as much support as usual. Well, it all comes down to this. Let us know who you think is going to win the series. Tweet hashtag C9Win or hashtag TLWind at LOL Esports, and we'll see how you're calling this game shortly. There has to be a winner out of this one. Somebody's facing Team Solomate or Team Impulse. And we're gonna see who it is. Cloud9 versus Team Liquid. There can be no more than this game. Who will win? Also remember, because of the Maokai pick, this is again Phoenix on the Lulu. This is the only champion that we have seen from Phoenix that has not really shown up. Yeah. He got beat by High and CS in the mid lane. Different matchup this time around, but not been Phoenix's best champion. That's good portal control. Dominate and get spirits, even after last game. Oh! <laughs> Got him. Twerks him with the dark side. That's going to be uh, pretty aggressive in 70 countries around the world. We'll see if Medios gets angry. And they get the ward, too. <laughs> nice. What's, what's actually kind of surprising to me is even though Expecial has the Biscuit upgrade, it went for a Mana Potion on Alistar. So, I mean, usually, you know, since the biscuits give you instant... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the curses that we were talking about. Team Liquid looking to break this time around. Usually it's smell, sometimes sound that remember, reminds you of a, a point in time in history. But this time it's the instance in general. Those boy Boy Tweets being one of the members of the previous team that felt the curse. And with the defensive line setup that you guys have been doing, they don't call each other's lane swaps this game. They don't yeah, meet in lane. Point. They're actually going to have some 1v2 lanes. Lemon, because they were able to kill that ward, can do a delayed harass here. Yeah, I feel like Lemon thinks that the duo's bottom. So Cloud9 think that this is a regular duo doing the Gromp, mm -hmm. and so he's going in to stop them. It's much harder to stop the two tanks, but he's getting some decent damage done. See if it costs him anything. Uh, uh, it's going to cost him something. Nope. A potion. It'll be a potion. He is just trying to be as big a jerk as possible right now. Whether it's Lemon Nation pushing two people out or Lemon Nation controlling two people in their own jungle, not, he's done he's it both times. They collapse series. on him. My work is not done they're yet. They're admitting <laughs> they're giving up a lot of pressure, and there's Meteos burning a flash. No way. Ignite used. Meteos, will he smite one of these? No. All right. So they're still going back and forth. What Smite a already. jungle stop here. No smite. Still smite be over aggressive. that last hit on the wall. Level two for Dominate, so that helps him Good. a little bit. He uh, dies uh, in the Medios. <laughs> what is going on right now? You only get five hard leash resets on well, those wait. wolves. Sneaky's left class. lane. Sneaky left lane as well, so he's not getting AD carry CS. They're going to have to stick this oh fight, and they God. really want to come out with kills. The 3v3 starts just three minutes oh in. High makes it a 4v3. Quas is very hurt. Flashes are down left and right, but that flash so gets funny. everybody Ooh. Position, a three two kills. pop, they get two, they're gonna start with a third, they did not expect this, and Team Liquid is on the back foot, three minutes in. Game five, facing the reverse sweep. Wow. Not what, how you want to start. What a demoralizing opening for Team Liquid. Midos is also going to take away the blue buff from Sejuani. Wow. This is an important camp for Sejuani. As a disastrous and open as you yeah, can almost might back up. What it, Crazy. Oh, he gets cold feet. Could have stuck around. Yeah. Could have stolen it. Medios, you even had smite. He'll go away with an 1,800 goal lead for his team three and a half minutes in and still be pretty happy about it. Wussy. <laughs> <laughs> go for more. Just kidding. That was fine. Jeez. So basically, Team Liquid 
didn't want to collapse back in for a while. Hey, and then the you, you'd think, if you're Team Liquid, that being able to beat them to this spot yeah. is beneficial. But Balls is still level one. I think All everyone on Cloud9 is at least level two when they Flash make it in here. Traded. What Except a, for Lemon Nation. What a body slam for Meteos. That yep. opened the door for Lemon Nation to get out. It's this body slam that he gets at the end with the Flash. Total game changer. Allows Hai to land his AoE at the very end of that. It looked for a second like Team Liquid was going to get away with three people all staying live until Meteos made that play. Until the Meteos Nation flash body slammed. <laughs> body slam flashed, excuse me. I mean, it's what way better to do bo uh, body slam flash. The special's trying to do it. He's saying, well, if you can do it, I'm going to try to do it better now. Puts himself in the jungle dangerously. <laughs> yeah, I can take jungle camp too. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Medios gives him a bit of room, but he knows his blue is not going anywhere. He's just taking a small camp, trying to deny a little bit. Yeah, I think that's actually a good point. The mentality of Cloud9 after that um, early victory of three kills, they're like, we're not taking any risks. Yeah. Medios is like, this blue buff's almost done. I'm not going to chance it. I'm, a <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, so Cloud9, they're like, yes, we're going to take our big victory in the early game. Not going to try and overextend. However, if they continue to play super cautiously like that, uh, Team Liquid, they're not going to let this one go away just because of a level one play. This is this is not a scrim where you restart after an early level one invade goes <laughs> awry. This is game five playoffs. But it would be. <laughs> it's actually the perfect example of why you don't want to surrender exactly. early on in those screams because you will be in a high pressure situation where it matters and yeah. you need to be able to turn this one around. You mount a comeback. You chase them off the the solo lane here. You get some early damage on this turret. And you play off the only advantage yeah. you have left, which is Piglet. The only person who wasn't involved in that 4v4 skirmish that took up so much time and now tied for the highest level in the game is Piglet's Lucian. Yeah. The thing they picked in the first rotation of their draft. So, while it looks like Team Liquid are the ones doing a lot more right now, they're trading this for Dragon. Also, the bottom lane has remained frozen by Sneaky this entire time. Big. He's not shoving the wave, he's just pruning it, last hitting, keeping it right in front of his turret. So yes, the early global gold does spike back up a little bit there for Team Liquid due to the turret, but Dragon buff taken, lane down bottom still frozen. See what they do off of this. Obviously, hearing the dragon win over to Cloud9, they're still going to back. They don't decide to put the pressure on the top turret. Quas and Dominate will stay, however, to deny some resources in oh, hard mode here at the beginning of the game for Team Liquid. This, this is such a big hard mode. Hard mode this is such another big thing that happened after that invade. Not a direct consequence, but balls on Hecarim, huge lead over Quas, gets to free farm at his second turret now too. And Team Liquid are going to have a hard time spending any extra cash to get Vision deep in that jungle to try and punish this either. They, they are really hurting for money right now, so grabbing any extra gold to try and get Vision down here and punish the Hecarim at his secondary turret, very difficult for them. You saw the pink ward already from Cloud9, but sneaky little ward here on the other side of the wall will give them a little bit of Vision. Meteos, though, knows exactly what's up, smites the wolf camp to get the Wisp added protection for the Hecarim, and that will be a very dangerous pony come the mid game. <laughs> you got that right. Especially if Team Liquid can't capitalize on any kills right now. Right now those kills are prioritized on the perfect people. Got Meteos high and Sneaky all with one, trying to be aggressive here as they got early in the game and pick those up. So far Team Liquid has played safe, knowing that they are so far behind. It could be very easy for Cloud9 to keep rolling these kills together and take an even bigger lead. They are very, very good at making small things work in their favor. So I expect the lull here, gentlemen, until we get that dragon fight for somebody to really get antsy. Yeah, and it, Team Liquid is kind of taking the time to mentally recover as well as trying to recover in the game, knowing that they've already lost two games in a row in this series. It's like Special's time to shine. He said, calm down, guys. <laughs> <This is Yeah. laughs> Absolutely is time to shine. It's, Don't it's worry, Team we Liquid's time to prove this. To prove everyone wrong, but we've heard in the past, even the analyst desk was talking about it, when Piglet starts going on tilt, he admits he is prone to doing that, losing one game, he thinks the first game of the series. Whoever wins that, they'll be able to take it, because if he wins the first game, he usually gets so confident and is able to win. Mm. But because Cloud9 was able to reverse that momentum, is Piglet now in that we are ruined mindset? It doesn't look like it yet because he is actually the lone member who's still performing in this game. He was not right. invo involved in that catastrophe.
catastrophe that happened in their jungle at the start of the game. It's going to be a big uphill battle, though, if they want to make it to the finals. Well, right now with the lanes matched up, they're obviously winning with the lead. So they get everything they want here to keep the lanes farming safely with no pressure from Team Liquid. Sneaky 76 to 70 as Piglet's doing a great job at staying under that turret. Also, we have to remember he was left alone in that whole top foray, or jungle foray in the bottom, farming top. Yeah, speaking of uh, farming top, two level advantage for balls. Level eight Hecram versus level six Maokai. Ah, that is, that is very, very difficult, to say the least, for Quas, who has been such a huge boon for Team Liquid in this series. This time, it's Balls with the upper hand, and he is using that upper hand. Quas is at a huge risk of dying at some <laughs> point in this lane. Not only the level advantage, the fact that Sacrifices. Balls has Ignite on Hecarim, for one, just the nature of the champion in the top lane, and the fact that Balls has the war control, but Quas does not. Well, all, Pretty much all Meteos has to do is walk up there, and he'll at least burn a flash. Yep. Coming up right now, they've got the... Path laid out with vision as well. Deep Ward's already set up for him. And he's freezing him out again. Another interesting thing with Quas is he'll have those games where he just goes off with the Fizz or something in the top lane. Last game, Lulu, but then not be able to carry the game. It doesn't seem like they organized for him to really have that effect outside. Easy steal. Meteos already used Smite. Something or Dominant already used Smite. Plague them a bit, and it yeah, should be oh! easy. He gets it. Well, Meteos, thank you. No. Okay, clean. Yeah, he does. That's just bombing. He's on Clean steal, Jack. Clean <laughs> steal. <laughs> yeah. He said to sneeze on it one last time. Oh, bottom lane, sneaky. That's the ignite down on Quas? him. A great oh! teleport from Quas's oh, Bell Shield. My. Wait, okay, he did down the get arcade him. smash. Touchdown. Sabling picks up that kill, and it is going to be the 3v2 now. Very low health Bye. bars, and Ball's going a little too hard on this one. Lemon Nation doesn't even want to get too close. Onslaught of Shadows for defense, and the anchor toss wow. to the turret Quas, as well. Are, are you kidding me, Quas? Down, pressured in the top lane, getting beat up, equalizes everything with a teleport. Able to secure a kill for himself, wow. and Balls tries to answer, so they don't even have to work with that teleport disadvantage. 40 CS down in the Pretty top huge. lane. Very big to be able to make that play. And with the wave pushing against him, the thing that Balls was freezing up there is not he's not able to prune that CS properly. No. It will still be a giant wave that Balls he, gets to clean up. I think he might be able to catch it. I think he'll yeah. probably be able to catch it before it hits turret. That's actually going to be really huge. He's, that's almost a 20 minion wave up there. Could end up even increasing his CS advantage over Balls. Let's see this one more time, because the teleport's definitely in favor. Quas was in base, wow. as he had all the time to look at the fight. X special, knowing he needed to make a play, mm -hmm. preemptively flashes there. I can't believe Sneaky. It was a good side step. that ended up yep. killing him. He, Sneaky almost escaped. He did everything he possibly could, but... Yeah, and then we know the finish of that one. Ball's not being able to land a good ultimate. And basically X Special with the crowd control doing it just right. Main calm, guys. Yeah. <laughs> They're still not out of this game. The gold lead that happened from the early game is pretty much stagnant. The biggest lingering advantage is the Hecarim versus the Maokai. So Quas will just have to find ways to sneak farm, or they can just funnel everything onto Piglet and Phoenix and hope those guys with the Lucian Lulu synergy can take it. They're right. hoping. They, I think they want to dive here. They might just get Lemon Nation. I don't think Sneaky's going to be able to get there in time. Once they see he's there alone, this is going to be quickly activated. Caught Dominate trying to be the catalyst here for the rest of the team. Doesn't look like he's going to use all. He's got all. Yeah. So they at least they got the alt out of Lemon. Nicely done there. That turret's going to be theirs in the bottom lane, so Team Liquid gaining a little bit more ground. Uh-oh. Despite that pressure early from Cloud9. Balls needs to run very quickly. They will trade turrets for this, most likely. But if Team Liquid ends up picking up a dragon after this turret trade, they're pretty much back in the game. It was a, it was a really strong move there for Team Liquid. Even after the fiasco that happened early, Able to keep their heads in the game, time the dragon, make their play bottom at the same time. So trade turrets, uh, nobody goes down, but coming out with the added benefit, that uh, dragon is available. Nobody's gone down yet. <laughs> he can back off. That yeah, should be going down. A little more control here from Cloud9. As you were saying, Kobe, Team Liquid not able to or do candy. too much after tape, taking that turret in the top oh, lane. No. Oh, wait a minute. They decide to go off the turret. The objective is now Quas. 
cut down the tree, get a little bit more gold, and it looks like they will do so. Turret went down during that fight as well, so they're just making the best of the situation. Curious Quas, so hard to respect the initiation potential of a Gragas, though. Body slam flash to extend, doesn't even land it perfectly, but he gets the distance mm -hmm. to knock him back with the ultimate. Quas would have had to be at his second turret uh, if he wanted to avoid a gank like that, but with that being said, he should have been farther back, and he pays the price. Yeah, sorry, jinxed it. Dominate, oh. though, looking to make a move of his own. Heads oh. mid. Frozen Flash tomb from high. Nobody was really around him to keep that initiation going. Was it lane pressure? Cost him his life. So the ultimate flash on Sejuani, really, really yeah. reliable. Comes out way quicker, cutting the animation, takes down high. Cloud9, though, going to defend the turret. Great collapse there by Team Liquid. Weren't really sure if they were going to get that engagement, but it played out perfectly for them. We'll see if they can keep working these, though. Squad 9 is in position to stop the wave pushes after these kills that Team Liquid's able to get. Just the bottom turret now, and top turret for them as they're looking to crack the egg open in the middle here. 127 to 44. Almost triple. Top lane CS. Another wave and Hecum could be triple the amount of CS there. Mid lane, it is though. troubling, but then you look at the mid lane of the AD carry, and they are in the favor of Team Liquid. And Maokai, while he does need to be a tank line, is not completely core to this Team Liquid team composition. We mm -hmm. talk about what types of priorities Team Liquid runs. They had that one game where Phoenix and Quas were the priority, but when they are successful, it is a piglet priority team comp for the most part. Uh, here, they do have a large tank line, a lot of crowd control. Maokai can add to that crowd control, and as long as Piglet continues yeah. to have a good game, Team Liquid is still in it. Well, right now, the top lane is once again pushing towards Cloud9. Jeez. And Balls is headed up that way. So this is going to be an interesting choice. Does he continue to freeze it and deny CS? I feel like he should and have the rest of Cloud9 just ward defensively and take the extra lane of farm and experience and soak it up as long as you can. Yeah. Because look who's, look who's not benefiting from it now. It's Piglet. He's actually the one stuck in the jungle uh, because Quas is down bottom soaking up the one lane. So Team Liquid, they only have two lanes of farm to distribute among their team and everybody wants their hands on it. This is reminiscent, I'm sure Zion Spartan remembers, of the game CLG had against Gravity, <laughs> where the Hecarim was 100 CS up on his opponent, 200 to 100. Yep. This game has a chance of being even more lopsided than that, Hecarim versus Maokai, because of the way the waves are being made. Yeah, and what you have to do when you're faced with that problem, when you're Team Liquid, is you have to force the issue somewhere else on the map. Right now, they're trying to do it mid, but I don't see that working against Gragas, Lys Lysandra, Wave Clear. So, Cloud9, they have made the call. They're just soaking up three lanes versus two lanes of income here, and Team Liquid are just having to deal with it. They're having to bite the bullet. It is really hurting them. Oh, doing everything to farm that out. Looking back, what could Team Liquid actually have done different to get that lane in their favor so it's not just crushing into balls all the time? He's getting all that free farm. A lot of this has to do with the level one. It, it goes that far back, only because he's so yeah. much weaker than balls, he can never shove out that lane 1v1 at this point. Right now, I feel like Team Liquid should be giving this farm to Lucian. Mm -hmm. Cut your losses. Quas will not be a factor this game. At least allow Piglet to be a factor. And that looks like what they're doing now. Yeah. And for sure, he's definitely not going to go Rod of Ages now. <laughs> right. That would so be far gone. Yeah. suicidal. Might stack no, it by the time the game's over. They continue to give Quas some of this garbage farm down in the bottom lane. If Team Liquid does not garbage. get a turd off of this. <laughs> There's gold in them garbages, <laughs> Jat. <laughs> <laughs> One man's trash oh, man. is another man's treasure, treasure, guys. So we'll see. I able to clear this out. Blue buff for them in the mid lane. But like you were saying, they are giving all that to Quas, trying to make him bigger, putting priority into that. Well, it looks like Piglet's going to be clearing up the jungle camps for himself. That's where he's getting his resources. Hmm. Divvying things up. Goes a little, late rush little excursion into the Cloud9 red side jungle, huh? Dragon is coming up in a minute, but I don't see them winning uh, a team fight yeah. without a miraculous ultimate well, unless, star combo as well. Unless they can make it not about Hecarim. If they find a way of getting Hecarim away from that team fight, that's where the majority of Cloud9's advantage is. It's a 2,000 gold lead between top laners, Hecarim okay. over Maokai. 
you find a 4v4 or a 5v4 and Team Liquid would have an edge. That being said, Cloud9 has teleport. Yeah. <laughs> Funny thing about still top no laners. Still no home guard. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Still for going the boots. On that home guard and champ. Maybe knowing it's not initiation time for them, getting everything they want here with a small 3,000 gold lead, but we know when Cloud9 has that lead, it can go quite far. Elimination, <laughs> just one more hit. Enough to grab that out. Breathing room for the bottom turret, but that's calling being used out as High pushes the mid lane as well. With the help of Elimination, AD carries are left to duke it out here in the bottom lane. That CS has been quite close. So tricky right now. If Cloud9 wins a team fight, it comes as close as they can get to clinching the series. Whereas if Team Liquid wins a team fight that makes them back in the game. This oh, time they funneled here. into the corridor. They're in the corridor, but they're going through it. Missed the hook, but they still want to fight. High gets popped up. He can't really do much just yet in the fight. And he's still getting knocked around, only throwing Qs in. It doesn't matter. This front line is huge from Cloud9. Oh. Dropping Dominate, Quas, and Phoenix. There's really no assist to come now for a special. A triple kill for Balls. And more than 100 CS up now. He is going to be 4-0. Yeah, just make it not about Hecarim. <laughs> yeah, as Hecarim crushes the team fight. That's exactly what Team Liquid did not want and exactly what Cloud9 was going for. Piglet was not even in that fight until the yeah. end. He actually had to flash over a wall yeah. just to become part yep. of that fight. Balls and that Hecarim pick. Hasn't really shown fun. it too much, but he pulls it out for the playoffs. Hey, there give credit where big. credit's due. Lemonation and that Nautilus pick. Yeah. Level one, he was fighting a one-man <laughs> war. Yeah. For about two minutes straight in the enemy jungle. That's chapter two of Lemonation's yes, notebook, is how to mess with 2v1s very well. Lemonation going where no support has gone before. <laughs> All right, well this is, yeah, as you said. Oh, blam! There's Piglet, dashes into yeah. the wall, then has to flash over it. Doesn't even matter, no one even bothers to target him. They clean up the rest of the team around him. I held his ultimate so long in that fight to make sure it got the right person. You know when you have enough time to just hold your alts while you're surrounded by the enemy, things are going real well. Cloud9's got to be feeling very confident right now. 22 minutes in, things have been going well for the first minute of this yeah. game five. With a lead like that, all you have to do is wait for your opponents to group up and then just smash Ooh. your... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they're going for him. They're trying to smash, Kobe. Smash indeed. Oh, Here Frozen comes Tomb Hecarim. for himself. That's the tomb he will lie in. Nope. Wait, Phoenix there he is. got that kill for himself. Quas with the teleport in. It's not going to work like it did the first there, time. But neither is Piglet. So. Boom. Dominate Arctic Assault into the two big guys. Elimination and balls. That disengages the fight a bit. And Medios is going to get a mid-push on to slow things down. I don't know what Balls was really trying to do with that teleport. Uh, as we yeah. said, he's he's been... He's foregone... Um, the home guard boots. Home guard boots yet again. Uh, and without Sneaky there to speed him up, uh, the plays will not be made today. So he still has a three-level advantage, uh, extra item and a half. A 125 CS lead. Let's see if he squanders it, because yeah. right now, multiple people headed up top Four lane. levels. I feel like it would take three people. Two people would probably still die to him. Agreed. <laughs> We have the chance. We will get to see. Three to two in turrets. Looking at the inventories here with those beats, bo boots being uh, passed up. That Righteous Glory is built quite fast onto Meteos. Maybe that's the way they're kind of using this with Balls able to finish his items faster and not get to that home guard. Who knows? They sure do. It seems to be working out for him right now. Eight to five, 23 minutes in. Dragon's not yet on the board, but I'm sure it's going to gate one of our next fights here as Team Liquid has not been winning the straight-up fights. They don't have the ability to anytime no. soon either. They get a perfect pick, pretty much. Uh, yeah, exactly. And the pick has to come from just poor judgment from Cloud9. Yeah, it has to be a mistake. a mistake because Team Liquid's team, they were not building this team trying to come up with picks. They're building this team for team fighting when they all group up and they buff up Piglet and they've got this crazy front line and they can set up their battle lines, everybody's in their place and they can have a standard fight. This is not a team that's built to come from behind or to pick people off or to split push. Liquid setting up some wards to make sure they see every portion of the map that Cloud9 can enter their jungle. Right now, they know about this as well. 
It looks Careful like there, buddy. Cloud9 is actually giving themselves the opening to make those picks here as they get some clears down. Now onto Quas. This is what they could get if High has enough damage to cancel it out along with balls. They do, and it goes over to High. This is going to be top lane pressure with a minion wave just on their heels. Picking on Maokai. Yep. May as well. Cloud9 closer and closer to getting their fourth consecutive appearance in an LCS split final. It was looking rough for a while there, going down 2-0 to Team Liquid, but they have come storming back in this series. Especially at the start of this game, picking up three kills. Team Liquid trying to hold on desperately, but that advantage continues to grow Yeah. for Cloud9. And this is almost one of those moments I think anybody's been in that plays a game. When you're losing that game, you need to win. Any play that goes bad hits your mentality so hard. You you didn't want that to happen. You want to change that fight immediately. You're always pondering about the last thing. And Team Liquid is working through all of that right now. And silent comms is one of the scariest things. Hopefully, they are still keeping up and up on those and getting the shot calls that they need. Still not afraid to kind of get some pressure into the jungle of C9. Hopefully, it pays off for him. One of the hallmarks of this series has been Cloud9's Baron control. Yeah. So, oh, right now, Team Liquid Piglet. has to check. Oh, he is caught out. The crush in. What can Meteos do across the wall? He's got Piglet on the back line. Phoenix already flashed out and defensively used Wild Growth on himself. And Balls now in the middle, just spinning around like a helicopter. Quas taking a bunch of damage. Expecial is now soloed out there. And Cloud9 has the chance to look left and right in this fight and decide who they want. It's just that easy for him right now. Whoa, he smites the wolf. He's alive. He is. Oh, he missed the wall, though. But that gives Phoenix a little bit more time outside the base, which is going to give Cloud9 more time to fight in it. A tale of two carries, though, in that fight. Sneaky was jumped on, as was Piglet, but the tank lines are so very different for yeah. these teams right now, as well as the farm levels. Piglet goes down to Meteo. Sneaky tanks it up and cleans the fight. See that one more time. What an engage. Hi. I really thought Hi was going to get the ult off on Piglet, but he yeah. did at least get the flash out. This. At this point, though, the so, Gragas, this base damage Gragas and the Cinder Hulk burn is going to be enough to take down AD carry. Yeah, he just kills him. Well, blam! Again, the body slam flash for Meteos. No reaction available. And we all know the end of this tale. Hey, wait a second. He's got Trailblazer. Oh. Uh, just about. Yep. A, we have a lot of good action sounds this, uh, <laughs> this series. That's what happens when you get three casters. Spicing things More up. More action sounds. I also have to just say, yeah. this Cloud9 team with Sneaky has revolved around him so heavily, but this game it's going more around the top lane and the action that Lemon Nation was able to create early on in the match. Again, with the Blade of the Ruin King and now the Sivir Alt. The options for Team Liquid are just shrinking yep. ever more. That pickup on Hecarim for Balls has been so good, knowing he would get the Rumble Ban over and over. and. Almost objective-esque. When Hecarim comes flying through, he's like a big human equalizer. You can't stand in the way. You don't want to be there. And he can kind of do the same thing and be very disruptive. Oh, there it is. Oh, just on the edge there. I'm pretty sure Pix got hit by that anchor. Phoenix getting out. The wild growth goes down, and they're going to try to keep this fight going. Balls on the back line. So tanky. A 3v1. Yeah. He can still take down Piglet, <laughs> and he takes him in for lunch. Meteos going to be helping to get that oh, one with ah! Sneaky. Balls gets out alive somehow in this fight with the Spirit of the Dread heal and the potion that he popped. I retract my previous statement. You should, sir. Uh, not three people, <laughs> but four people are required to take down the Hecarim. Holy moly. And you never know, the more gold he gets, the more people it takes to take him down. Big special. It's forced to watch. The timer is given to them, but is that even enough? It's so far in the favor of Cloud9 right now. A 13,000 gold lead and just about a 130 CS lead now from Quas. Or rather, Balls on that Hecarim over Quas. All right. Righteous glory from Meteos. He goes flying Ooh. in at the start. They actually locked down a tank, uh, which... What better peel can you have? Alistar and Maokai. <laughs> oh, man. That hurts. Get out of there. Oh, he missed the... Ball's just Maokai marking his territory Q. anywhere he goes. That last miss Q, that could have been it, man. Quasi could have had that kill. Could have, would have, should have. Vengeance. But did not. So this is now going to be tough for Team Liquid here. Very oh, much so against the ropes and some final breaths to be taken. Cloud9 really... I mean, they'd have to make multiple mistakes in a row for the amount of lead they've given themselves here in this game, and it's 
it's crazy to see that they went some from such falter in the first game and back and forth to sneak diving into a dragon fight alone. And we were like, what's going on? And they've corrected pretty much everything in those games. Cooler heads prevail sometimes. Mm -hmm. Cloud9, veterans in the LCS, the same roster, two years running. Yeah, this is their one of the few. Four split with exactly the same starting five in every single LCS game. Team Liquid have to not let this series get in their head either. Yep. Second time for reverse sweep playoffs. This is just the first split though. You still get yeah. circuit points. They can, they, can, they can still make their end game goal. The end goal here for this team has always been, ever since they recruited Piglet, has been four worlds. Right. They can't be sad as well to make so many changes on a team and still be able to produce the same result is still pretty damn good in such a high level of play. And right now, back against the wall, as I've been saying, as Cloud9 is knocking on the front door, a 13,000 gold lead is going to be what they are punching Team Liquid in the face with here if they get across those stairs. Yeah, well, Balls does have his Hecarim ult. They might decide yeah. to do a dive with the second cannon minion soon to be arriving, as well as the turret to go down to a couple of oh. shots from Sneaky. <laughs> This may be Team Liquid's last stand. There it is, Jat. You called it. Righteous Glory goes down. Hecarimal has not been used at. However, as he flies to the back line, Piglet, 75% damage immediately. But they got to watch out for the Nexus turret. It's destroying Hecarim. those resistances. Meteos is now under it. But they're able to clean house. And it looks like they are going to be able to take game five. The reverse sweep for Cloud9 as the base is open. The base is theirs. And they persevered after losing two straight games. Liquid is still trying to put their foot down for the last push here at Cloud9, they're going to be able to do only so little before Cloud9 finishes that last Nexus turret. Even the Nexus turrets could not keep balls away from zoning <laughs> Piglet right there. 5-0-7, Hecarim. The Nexus is about to fall. Cloud9 coming back with three straight wins. The champion select of Game 3 being a huge boon for them and playing on the mentality of Team Liquid. Cloud9 take down Team Liquid to move on. What a series between Cloud9 and Team Liquid right here. The upset potential from Team Liquid was very real, taking the first two games of the series. Team Liquid coming into the playoffs as the sixth seed, nearly making the finals. Three chances to take down Cloud9, and they still fall short. Wow. Speechless in that game to see the same result. Once again, Cloud9 moves on. <laughs> Team Liquid takes their spot. And we will see now, will Cloud9 face Team Solo Mid or Impulse tomorrow? We can see quite dejected looks from Team Liquid after so much work, persevering through a season that showed them probably some of the most trouble of any team and able to come out very strong when it counted. But in the end, it's not even a too little too late. It's just they couldn't find that right moment for couldn't themselves. Couldn't finish. Yeah, they just couldn't finish. Because they had what it took. Phoenix, very strong point for the team. At times, the backbone of what was going on during the compositions, along with Dominate and the executions there. Definitely a higher ceiling than what we've seen for Liquid. And Cloud9 now to look to climb as well to their ceiling as they move on. It's going to be difficult, yep. very difficult Guaranteed. indeed. It's been a strong League of Legends North American Championship Series split. Guaranteed top two finish for Cloud9 despite all the difficulties they have gone through as well from week to week, looking terrible versus looking like they're back in form. And yet another finals. Yeah. They make their way there. It's getting Ooh. tougher and tougher for them. <laughs> I couldn't get much tougher than this. Sighs of relief left and right. Smiles on the faces now, but definitely a game they're going to have to go back yeah, we'll and watch. Out. Not very glaring mistakes came out of those first two games as Team Liquid took their wins. So definitely something Cloud9 should look at as they move on to their next game. Ball's very happy. Those hacker room picks, oh my word, really put an impact on the game. You could tell they heavily valued hacker room. So as much. did Team Liquid. Something you always have to keep in mind, especially for scouting information. 
you know, Cloud9 will play the winner of tomorrow's match between Team Impulse and TSM. And we know that Cloud9 does tend to get a little bit predictable with their picks here, but on a new patch with two weeks off coming into this series, you didn't know exactly what they were going right. to bring. They have a lot of work in the next two weeks. A lot Cloud9 of have a lot of work. A lot of things that can change. A lot of things we didn't even see. We've seen TP Smite everywhere. We didn't even get a game to that today. So these are things <laughs> teams can bring out every maybe day. Next, maybe maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm ready. Maybe I'm tomorrow. Ready. But yeah, these guys went